my channel so in today's video I am doing a Instagram pics my makeup challenge I've never done um, a challenge like this on my YouTube channel I rarely do challenges on my YouTube because like I don't know I'm kind of like a teacher when it comes to this I like to teach a lot and sometimes like I find myself teaching more than I'm talking like about anything else um, so this was really fun for me very different um, and also a little bit of a challenge because I couldn't use anything else I'm like oh I really want to use that right now but I can't so um, it was a little bit of a challenge for me but uh, I made it work and I'm really happy with the outcome I think this look is very beautiful and neutral and pretty much like you can wear this um, every day <laughs> not every day but you know what I mean like it's a very neutral look that can go with any type of like pretty much outfit or whatever the case may be so i'm really glad that this was the outcome of the look um i did my hair wavy as you guys wanted me to because that's what won i asked for straight or wavy and you guys wanted me to do my hair wavy so i did waves and i parted it to the side so i could look a little different than i normally um would have it i hope you guys enjoy these type of videos if you do then always as always don't forget to comment down below and let me know what challenge you would like me to create next or like pre not create but what challenge you would like me to do next um they're fun so why not i was thinking of doing the wet brush challenge which is so challenging because oh my god i cringe but if you guys want to see that then definitely take a poll i'm actually going to put a poll up here so it's easier for you guys take a poll up here actually it's this side take a poll up here and um let me know if you want me to if you want me to film the wet brush challenge um this was a thing that was going around youtube for like the longest but i never dared to do it because i cringe i literally cringe anyways um this is it for this video as always don't forget to comment down below what was your favorite part of this video that i used here is going to be listed in the description bar um so yeah so as always don't forget to comment down below what was your favorite part of this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel hello welcome my name is charlene and um if you like me enough then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn your bell notifications on so you are notified each time that i upload right now i don't have a schedule i just upload like randomly like a whole bunch so yeah whenever i do so then you will be notified also for my subscribers please make sure that your bell notification is on so that you are notified when i upload because like i say in every video youtube be playing games so you know we ain't gonna let them play us so turn your bell notifications on so you know each time I upload. And um, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm currently on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. I will list all of those down below. And without further ado, let's get started with this video. I will see you guys in my next one. eyeshadow palette or eyeshadows um it was pretty close so for the abh modern renaissance it was 295 votes and then for the dose of colors shadows like the new ones and also the palette it was i feel like you guys can't see me talk but it's because i'm trying to like focus it on my eyes um it was 263 it was pretty close so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to like mix both of them together like use the modern renaissance and also use like one of the new shadows that those of colors came out with the block of the party or whatever they're called um so yeah so i'm just gonna use like both of them combined because a lot of you really wanted to see the other one and a lot of you wanted to see you know so i'm gonna just combine them together because that's the look i'm going for 
literally so beat like so so beat i loved this palette like as you can see i hit pad on like most of the shades um but yeah i'm not sure if i'm going towards a cranberry type of like tone or browns but we are going to start with browns anyways so i'm going to be taking these two shades right here which is burnt orange and raw sienna so starting off with burnt orange and then moving on to raw sienna i'm taking a morphe m513 brush which is this one right here it's just very fluffy and blendable so taking burnt orange first and this mirror sucks already so and i'm just going to start by placing that on my outer corner i'm going to vegas this weekend you guys so i'm thinking of doing like a red type of like um theme or like color scheme type of thing where like everything is like almost red um, I want to start like incorporating that in my page. I've seen Amarizi do it for years and it just makes your page look so nice. So, um, I don't know, kind of like switch it up to see like if I attract anybody new or stuff like that because I've been stuck like in the same number for like months now and I have no idea what to do anymore. So, I am going to try that out and see how it works for me. Right now I'm just mixing both um, raw sienna and burnt orange. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, I'm just placing that on the outer corner and then bringing it into my crease. And then blending that in circular motion. I just broke my mirror my second mirror I broke my second mirror of the month literally like Spanish people say that that's good luck or basically like when a glass breaks it's like breaking something bad <sighs> but I just broke my mirror again but now I'm going to be taking the shade real gar which is this one right here Placing that on the outer corner and I'm bringing that into my crease. But yeah, I'm going to Vegas this weekend. I'm super duper excited because um, I've never been there, first of all. And I always see everyone go. So I'm very excited to go to Vegas. I'm leaving literally actually tomorrow. Um, so today is Wednesday not sure when this video should be uploaded but i'm aiming to upload today so that way i don't have to worry about it um when i come back so yeah today is wednesday tomorrow thursday we leave early in the morning and we come back saturday night and saturday um jacqueline hill is going to be in vegas and also morphe and literally like 17 minutes away from like my hotel where i'm going to be staying at is where they're going to be at so i definitely purchased my ticket i'm sure you guys saw it on instagram i purchased my ticket um for the vault to get the four eyeshadows it was 44 dollars with her discount code um so i'm going to go ahead and pick that up while i'm on while i'm on um while I'm out there on Saturday before like we leave because we leave Saturday night so I'll have time to go and pick it up like early in the morning and then come back um but yeah I'm very excited to see them in person like they look amazing I think I want to pop a little bit of red into my crease and I'm going to be taking the shade red ochre which is this one right here just going with it this palette is so good I love it just one of those palettes that looks so pretty I'm obsessed okay so now we're going to add the brown in the palette which is this one right here And I'm switching over to a Morphe M514. As you guys can see, this one is very tiny and like detailed. So, taking that on the outer corner mainly, and then just working my way into my crease, only like 
right here not moving it from there like from here to there not bringing it in or anything like that and then obviously just blending that out until you almost fall off and I'm just going to look up just to see where my crease ends and exactly there I'm bringing a little bit of that brown into my crease now that I've done like the half and I've cut it in half. I'm actually going to go in with the Dose of Colors Block Party Eyeshadow in Heart of Gold. This is so pretty you guys, like if I can open it. The packaging is beautiful but it's so hard to open. But this is the shade right here. I've used this so many times on my clients already, like it's not even funny. But this is the eyeshadow gonna put it here this is like pretty much like the packaging so for lashes I gave you guys the option of Lily lashes or OG lashes and a 419 of you to be exact said that you wanted me to use Lily lashes so we're going to be using the style Mykonos and for primer you guys I gave I gave you guys the option of Maybelline or the Hourglass Primer which Hourglass Primer won by 356 votes this makes me look so tan in my body but I'm applying that all over my skin this primer is so good it just makes your makeup last all day it is like it makes your makeup like waterproof and sweat proof um it's amazing like this is why it has like that weird kind of like tint to it like that um how do you call it it has like a purple and white tint to it but it won't give you white cast trust me on this one I really love it foundation I gave you guys the option of makeup forever stick or hourglass stick foundation and hourglass stick foundation uh wait my lashes hourglass stick foundation won by a total of 392 votes losing to makeup and makeup forever losing with a vote of 133 so I have two shades here. I am a little bit self tan still, so I'm not sure if it's gonna match me exactly. But I have the shades sand and beige, so I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe these and see which one goes the most. So this is sand. This is beige. They pretty much look a little like similar. Let me see. Those are the two shades I have right now. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna mix them both. I'm just gonna do stripes of both. Pretty much blend away. I've always been amazed with how this foundation blends. Like, it just blends so nice. And it makes your skin look so good. Like, oh, I love it. This foundation, like, is my one of my favorites for sure. For concealer, I gave you guys the option of the KKW Beauty Concealer or Tarte Shape Tape. And surprisingly, Tarte Shape Tape won by 281 volts. So, um, I haven't used Tarte Shape Tape in like forever, ever since I got the um, KKW. But it's still one of my favorite um, concealers. So I'm taking the shades tan and also light medium. Tan first to like kind of like color correct underneath my eyes and then light medium. So I didn't ask you guys because I t honestly forgot what um, cream product to use. But I'm going to use this one, the Mayron Foundation in Dark One. 
This is what I'm going to use to pretty much like bronze up my face because girl I'm looking a little pasty right now so So for setting powder now, um, we have the KKW Baking Powder or the Laura Mercier and the Laura Mercier one by 305, by 305 volts. So we're going to be using Laura Mercier today. I haven't used Laura in so long, underneath my eyes at least, because I don't know, I feel like the KKW makes my under eyes look healthier and less dry. So, yeah, as no, I do this normally, I set my entire face with the uh, Laura Mercier powder, so that's what we're doing. My face is literally so white right now compared to my body. I feel like those foundation shades that I had would, weren't, weren't um, dark enough. But, um, we're gonna, like, make it work. Alright, so for bronzer, I gave you guys the option of NYX, the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation that I always use, or the Becca bronzer that I've been using lately, and, um, pretty much bronzer and contour type of thing. So, I have two products here from Becca. This one is the Capri Coast Sunlit Bronzer, and then this one is the Mineral Bronzing Powder in the shade... Duende, Duende, yeah, in the shade Duende. Um, this one is a little bit darker than the other one is, as you guys can pretty much see. I run that on my cheeks, my cheekbones. It's now be taking this one, and let's see how this works. <sighs> Very powdery first impression. Hmm. Not bad. Two options here. This one is like a, you know, what I normally would go for. Go for, and this is luminoso, and then this one is red vino. Um, I think we're gonna go with red vino today, just to switch it up a little bit. Where's my brush? So my brush is in here. Great. Hey, okay, I'm just gonna take a regular blush this blush is so beautiful like look at that I just want you guys to see how beautiful this blush is like it has specks of gold in it too so we're gonna take a little bit of that one and just place it there move on to highlighter and for highlighter I gave you guys the option of Amorizi or Daisy and Katie collection and the Amorizi highlighter one by 344 volts. This is my base highlighter. Let's do this. For lips, I'm going to take Stark Naked by Urban Decay and Peach Stock mixed together. So and then each stock on top and then for gloss I am taking the Fenty gloss and then I asked you guys what setting spray you wanted me to use and you guys said the Smashbox so that's what I'm using I'm living for this hair though. These earrings though, so cute. They're from Forever 21. They look expensive, don't they? 